and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ash Thresh to start the day off. We have one donation deck to play today. That's what we got going on here. We're going to be playing a mid rangey deck where we are focused on having Ash in play. Leveling up Ash, we're going to have a lot of Frostbite to help level up Ash and swinging in for big chunks of damage with having the opponent's enemies uh, not be able to block. To be able to help find Ash, we have Thresh as our other champion, and Thresh does a really good job of controlling the board also, which helps you get to the late game. Um, but then if you can get a Thresh to level up, then you can attack and bring an Ash into play attacking as well. We also have some Rekindlers to help bring him back. Um, no Harrowing, no nothing like that. Um, you know, that's that's going to be our deck, so we're definitely going to be relying on Ash and Thresh um, and uh, seeing how they do. All right, let's let's uh, get to it. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. We'll, we'll see how we do. Um. I know I've, I've played this deck in the past and have kind of felt that it would be better with Harrowing. Um, but you know, I want to want to play, you know, play it as is. Let's see, let's see how it does. Let's see the updated list. Um, all right, so I definitely like Ash. I like Chronicler of Ruin to bring Ash back. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this Flash Freeze also, just kind of have a little bit of a protection spell, and so on. Good morning, Cabo. Hope you're doing well. Got the one two. Skip block. Hmm. Definitely planning on getting a, a new microphone stand so it's not on the table and it's not like so much in the way. Glad to hear, Cabo. Glad you're liking the new editing with YouTube and everything. Awesome, glad to hear. We could use the box to kill this 2-3, but decided just to save my mana instead. Alright, we're going to need a Thrash to help control the board. The opponent going wide. We have all that mana available. I almost don't want to attack with my opponent having so much mana available, but I mean, I guess we probably should. So if my at like they block here, Ash dies to all the one damage spells. Um, I can't really protect. The time is right. <clears throat> I can't like bring Ash back after that besides Rekindler, and I uh, can't protect Ash this turn because I can't have Fear of the North this turn. We're just gonna use the Frostbite card. Yep, keep that from happening. Cause it's good to have like two health ash next turn that I can chronicler and put back to three health. There's plenty of killing left. Safety will cost you. The war mother will unite us all. Witness. Five five is gonna be annoying. That helps the Thresh level up, and now we've had Ash die. As far as Rekindler goes. Okay, next turn is a Rekindler turn. <clears throat> so let's see. If I block all of these, that's gonna level up my Thresh. I'm gonna do that, and I'm going to Frostbite this O3. Don't want my Thresh taking that damage. Yeah, I'm not I'm not cutting out too much of the 
the decision process of like whenever like if i'm if i'm speaking you know like this and talking a lot of the most of most of what i'm cutting out is just dead parts there's a, a couple of times where i'll i'll cut out a l little something especially if it ends up not really mattering all right let's bring ash back twice and this is going to level up ash so not only will that bring ash into play but then thresh will attack and put another one into play all right so they won't be able to block uh, so that's going to be 6, because this is going to level up to 6. So 6, 12, 16, 20. So this, should, this will be exactly 20. So this could be lethal here. Depending if they have any spell that kills one of these things. No spell. GG's. They had to play another unit before combat. And they didn't. Now begins a new era of peace. Is this the same deck? Twisted did we just play against Twisted Fate Sajwani? It might be. Our hand is pretty awesome. We'll have to admit. Um I guess we mulligan the rekindler with us not having anything to do with that yet. I don't know. I'm going to mulligan Chronicler of Ruin. We kind of need to find our champions. There we go. There's a champion. What's that noise? I'll shoot the wings off a Bilgewas. There's a little bit of a delay, but, um, you know, not, not really. Who's on top of the bounty board today? All right. Frostbiting the 1-2... So that if they want to attack, they attack with a 2-3, and I'll, I'll trade the 2-3. And my 3-1. Oh, right. The whole vulnerable thing. Alright, well. Not too big a deal. A little bit of a big deal, though, with the with not being able to use Vile Feast now. Grogit, you work burn if you don't! So I know we could kill the 1-1, one, one, but I kind of like Vile Feasting the Petty Officer so that then I can block Petty Officer with one of these Spiderlings. Never lost a fair game. Or huh. played one. That's a thing. Who says I don't share? I will unite the oh, is, it is just the same opponent from last game? Well, we got the last one, so maybe they get this one. Oh really? You heard me say what what deck I was playing against before you saw what I was playing against? That thrash was a great draw. I never miss as the arrow flies. Yes, you. Not my first gun fight. This time I cannot save Ash from Omega Rain. Do not have the mana. But still, we our Ash just traded with their Make It Rain, their Twisted Fate, and their Hired Gun. So that's pretty good. <laughs> Man, Petty Officer's good. You own what you take. Looks like I'm going with the flash freeze. It's putting me down to five. So if I flash freeze Sajwani, um, so now we'd take two, four, five. So we'd go, we'd go down to six with them challenging over here. I was, I was thinking they were going to challenge with Sajwani. My flash freeze saves five life. Grasp the Undying saves four life. Um, by killing something and then by killing one of these. So 
Um, I guess we just saved the five life. And keep the three spell mana. So Juwani's already at four out of five. Yuck. Ooh. We burn. Then kindle a new. Success gets you noticed around here. Swiftly now. Any last word. Like a worm on a hook. My aim is true. All right, I need to get rid of one of these crack shock corsairs. Sejuani can't block right now. Ooh, got some fighting, yeah. Next turn, I'll have the mana for like Vengeance in the box, but not Vengeance in Grasp. But I really want to play Vengeance in Grasp next turn, but we're going to be one short with having 11 mana. Oh. That was a Sejuani champion spell, that Fury of the North. Definitely bad for me, for sure. All right, so I have Vengeance. I'm just going to die. So we Vengeance Sejuani, but then we still take two, four, six. Um, hey, I need one more mana. I need to be able to play Grasp and Vengeance. Grasp doesn't save me. One mana short. Good Fury of the North, taking out the Thresh. You know, not only taking out the Thresh, but then also keeping their thing alive. I feel like this is going to be a, a really difficult matchup for us because they uh, this this the box has looked really poor. Um, they are going to be going really big, and our deck's slow but doesn't go really big. So hopefully we can get a bunch of ash and play and kill them with all of those ashes. Now Fury of the North with Thrash could be important. I could see that mattering, but I guess. Our deck has a lot of kind of similar spells, I guess Flash Freeze with Thresh. So we're going to mulligan and, and look for Ash, because just finding Ash is going to be really important, of course. Unyielding light. A true Felyorian welcome. Elves at the ready. This isn't really worth, this is really isn't uh, worth much, because that thing turns into a 3-2 anyway. <clears throat> um, I don't I don't know anything about that, Tatado. Oh yes, one and one for the record. Thank you. Devotion through battle. A chill in the air. All right, let's get rid of that. All right, so we'll have Thresh next turn. Hope keep the board a little clear. Ice Veil Archers don't really do anything. I don't know if I was even, like, maybe I just shouldn't have even played any. I don't know, they don't do anything. Stay back. My light for Avarosa. So I can block the, the Leona and then my Thresh can kill Leona. Justice will be the problem with that is that I want um, I want like these things to die while Thresh is in play. Fortunately we're still drawing the box. Don't think that card will ever do anything. We are uh, we, we do have a Ruination, that card's good. Got a free hit on this Radiant Guardian. So the main question is, use another Flash Freeze, 
I mean, main question, I mean, these are just my options. Use another Flash Freeze, play a new Thrash, or wait and Ruination. I'm gonna go with play new, uh, <clears throat> play new thrash. Enunciate potato. Welcome, welcome. Okay, that is a card we could kill with the box. I know these paths well. We burn, then kindle a new. Or we get another thrash and play. I guess I let this Thresh die. I know I could Brittle Steal it, but I kind of want to Brittle Steal this Radiant Guardian. No, I guess we just Brittle Steal here. Thresh has to be better than Brittle Steal. Having a Thresh in play, it's got to be better. If I play the other Rekindler, then I don't have any spells for protection like Flash Freeze and Fury of the North. For any, any kind of protection. But there's another Thresh coming in play right away. And then we just play the other Rekindler. Hey, big print. Yeah. Yeah, I've been playing at Rune Terror for a little while now. Yeah, this game is awesome. This would be... Two more dying, putting us up to four. Babbling Beer just draws Ash, correct? Because Ash is a 5 3. It's Averroes and Hearth card. Okay, we can get some Averroes and Hearth cards too. It's not bad either. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Sunlight light. So two of these, the two smaller Threshes are both four out of six. The larger Thresh is two out of six. They play another thing that we could get to kill with the box as well. Um, that will level up these two. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Neither of those was created by Robin. The sun's splendor revealed. So definitely playing the box. I mean, I guess they could just pass. All right, so yeah, definitely playing the box now. Um, Cause then they will knock it. Like they're choosing to invoke cards. So they won't get the invoke cards after this, because it's going to kill those. They will stun two things. And they'll get a free card with the Daybreak with that this one. All right, so we'll have to Flash Freeze one of these. I just have too many units in play. To I have too many units in play. Do I do I actually block to get rid of a Thresh? How far is Ash to leveling up? Four out of five? Okay, let's say let's say I leave the two rekindlers back here. If I attack with all three Thresh, will we pull three Ash in play? And so then we'd have six in the board and two in the back. Can you have that? Yeah, I mean I'm, I'm definitely gonna freeze one. Like that's that's just something I'm doing. Can I have that? Can I have like the three Ash also brought in from Thresh? Okay, I guess so. Ash was going to be leveled up. They weren't going to block. It was just basically if I need to get two or three. 
The safest thing was just to do two, so I think the safest thing was just to block. But we would have got the, the six across the board. Which would have been fine, because they were going to be taking lethal. They were going to take their 20 damage. <clears throat> this could be a good matchup for the box, maybe. Potentially. We can play it on turn three. And they have the attack token on turn three. <clears throat> so they could, like, Petty Officer on turn three, and then we the box. Yeah, it's very nice to see Brazilian fans over here. Absolutely. Um, definitely a country that it seemed to have a lot of viewers from just in general is Brazil. Which is really cool. That, of course, is a, a country I have not been... I don't know why I'm saying course, but that's a country I haven't been to. Would be really cool to go to. Um, Alright, so lots of one-drops. We are not going to be able to... Uh, the box stuff. Let's ca go ahead and cast a Grasp. I guess I'm only gaining two life with a Grasp right now. Um, but it's still probably worth it. Nice, Arcalud, you're from Brazil as well. Very cool. Good news, they don't have very many cards. I guess that's the good news. Bad news, they've played a whole bunch of cards and are killing me with said cards. So do they have another down to seven? Big question is, you know, just another noxion fervor that you know zaps brave and maybe maybe just grabbed another fervor. Difficult. If I play Grasp, then they get to sleep with the fishes and do three damage to me. So we don't actually gain any life. <clears throat> and of course, it levels up Gangplank. But I don't really like the alternative of letting them just generate a new sleep with the fishes anyway. Oh, yeah, they already did the damage to me with Make It Rain. Okay, good. That makes things a little better. Keep up, keep up. So this is going to do one damage to me, which puts me down to five. I mean, this game's just over. The box, again, just did, <laughs> didn't do anything. Even I kept this in my opener. I could just never play it. Um... I think the main thing we've learned so far is the box is not a playable card. Stay back. That's what does it really look like? Um, three out of six. I save. So this is gonna the basically the gangplank's gonna be a six six. Like this is gonna level up gangplank. <laughs> I take one more point of damage by keeping my... I basically can keep Thresh alive by taking one more point of damage. Which, of course, is likely that we can't afford it, but... Yeah, Withering Will. Yeah, I'd rather have Withering Will than the box. That's probably a better card. I would... Honestly, what this deck could use probably is more... 
I, I think I'd rather just have like unspeakable horror. Um, just as like an early card. I think I'd rather have like more vile feast or unspeakable horror. Um, Grass the Undying. Yeah, av yeah, Avalanche would have been so much better. If we had a if like the box was Avalanche that last game because they went one drop double one drop attack, I would have taken that damage again. But then we would have Avalanche would be able to clear out all those things. So like that one two that kept on doing damage to us would have died. That other thing that we challenged later would have died. Yeah, Avalanche for sure would be better. So the best part about Vile Feast against a Shen Fiora deck is that it breaks up barriers. So I'm going to keep it. Fury of the North protects Ash a little bit. We'll keep that. Brittle Steel does a better job of protecting Ash. I am one with the land. Yeah, yeah, y'all y'all are all saying that you'd like Avalanche more. I agree. Should definitely be Avalanche. A true Fragorian welcome. Just passing. Leaping into action. I should have passed as well. Definitely considering it. Two worlds, one balance. All the world on one arrow. This is fairly safe with the combination of Vile Feast and Brittle Steel. Show me a target. Favors you. I think I'm just going to use Fury of the North because it uses more mana than using like Brittle Steel. Brittle Steel is more valuable than Fury of the North. Likely going to be casting Glimpse Beyond on the Spiderling. But maybe... Maybe on something else. That's two barriers with Shen in play. Of course, I don't get to oh. don't get to brittle steal the three four because it has four health. But we can brittle steal their fleet feather tracker and then let my ash level up. The Shen's about to level up. Yeah, but the, the Shen can level up and then give something else a barrier and add power to it so that then it, that thing can block. So they can do surprise blocking. They need two barrier cards, so they need like Prismatic Barrier and something else. They could also just have Repost. I don't know. I have to use like a Harsh Winds to protect my Ash against a Repost. Maybe I just let Ash die against a Repost and just go Glimpse Beyond. Babbling Beard Glimpse Beyond, which, if that's the case, I probably should just play the, bab blab bleh, the Babbling Beard first, I guess. Yeah, I should have just played Beard first then. Okay, yeah, that's a way to get two, bar two barriers. They are under my protection. They can block. There is no dispute. See, they just blocked. Alright, not gonna Glimpse Beyond. Gonna let damage happen, because I need to kill this Shen. Need to get that thing out of play. Uh. 
Draw two. Yeah, basically, um, Thresh is Thresh does a great you know Thresh can control the board, and also whenever it levels up, uh, puts Ash into play. So the two of them work well together in that respect, doing those things, those two Our things together. All right, gonna go Hearthguard first, so that our Ash in our deck gets plus one plus one, and then we'll play Babbling Bjerg and draw it. And I guess the Babbling Bjerg may draw a Hearthguard too. That's true. We are playing Hearthguard. Are they just playing Rally? Guess they could have Rally in their deck. Well, I'm kind of, kind of glad I played Hearthguard instead of Ash and just let them kill Ash. Save the homestead. <laughs> Pour the box. It's never going to do anything. These woods belong to us. How do I want to use nine mana? We'll go Rekindler with Ice Villager. Now, I think Avalanche should replace the box. I think that's. I think this should just be an Avalanche deck. I think that's kind of what we determined. Let's play Avalanche instead. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Come to the light. Whoa! Hey! All right, whittling down their resources. It's a good draw. Hold nothing back. <clears throat> I feel pretty good about winning this game next turn. Well, I could flash freeze. Kind of just like using a vengeance. The time is right. Strike now. <clears throat> I'm sorry. All right, wish I would have flash freezed. I will cut you down. Try me. So Babbling Bjerg will be able to draw Rekindler or um, or Ash or Okay, we got Ash. Or Avros and Hearthgarden. Faster than my arrow? I think not. There we go, GG's. That's a nice three two. A new will rise. Good respectable record there. So yeah, I think the main thing is replacing uh, replacing the box, playing Avalanche instead. That's definitely important. Hey Bob, thanks for the cheers. GG's. Um Besides that, everything else worked out pretty well. Uh, yeah. yeah, everything worked out pretty well. Um, I'm not sure about like the Fury of the Norse. I'm not sure if like this card is good enough for it to be a three of or not. Um, Vile Feast does leave the body for Thresh. So I guess that's important, but I, I do really like Unspeakable Horror creating a random Nightfall card. I'm not sure if like the random Nightfall card is going to be better than a zero mana 1-1 one, one most of the time. Maybe not. Um, that's definitely something to think about. I feel like our deck could just have more card advantage in general, though. Like We have two Glimpse Beyond. Um, 
one babbling Bjerg and the two rekindlers and that's kind of the only way to get the extra cards i guess thresh gets extra cards too so i'm not sure if i'm not sure if that's enough for um, a lot of the slower pace decks we didn't we didn't really face the slower pace decks too much we did um you yeah, know but i guess i guess like you have to try to combo kill them you know we did with like the leona and aurelian soul deck but we were able to combo kill them with a bunch of ash um Y'all are saying this Passage Undurned has a really cool uh, animation. It's, I have never played this card, never seen it played, but I guess it has a cool animation. I don't know why they spent the time to give like that card a, a cool animation, but instead of some other cards that do see play. But anyway, um, yeah, that's that's Ash Thresh. Uh, so a little bit more, a little bit more mid rangey than, and not as all in as like your Ash Harrowing decks. Um, if you want to, if you like the Ash Harrowing decks, want to give something else a try, you know, try it out. It's not, not the most consistent, not the most powerful, but you get to do some cool stuff with Ash and Thresh and that's always good. All right. The, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments as well. If you, um, you know, got anything about, about this deck, um, just any of the decks in general, what do you want to see on the channel? You know, anything else, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Ash Thresh and I'll see you for the next video.